Africa, the YouTube channel is where all of this content comes from. And the only reason why I'm reacting to it and showing it and reproducing it on my channel is because it's, it's very critical information for you to understand Africa. Most people's perception of Africa is ignorant and uneducated. So you have to understand the, the struggles that are going on in Africa. And we have to unite our American struggles with theirs. This is the story of Ken Sara Weaver, one of the greats of Africa. He's from the Ogani tribe in Nigeria. Just two weeks after and he was a famous comedian in Nigeria. And he was killed simply because he wanted his people to get the share of the oil. Nigeria found a bunch of oil wells, billions and billions of dollars a day, on Ogani land. Unfortunately, the Ogani tribe is tiny. So all he said is, hey, my people are poor, but you have the richest resource of the country right under us. So why are you abusing us? And they killed him. A catastrophic incident would occur in the heart of Ogoni land. On the 19th of July 1970, an oil wellhead exploded, hurling fire and hot oil into the Ogoni skies. Within the space of a few days, the Ogoni's main sources of drinking water had been completely poisoned. Farmers began staying away from their own farms for fear of igniting fires and those who were brave enough to return found themselves waddling around in crude oil. For three long weeks, the oil spill continued unabated, contaminating everything it came into contact with, from the Ogoni's air to their land and most importantly, their waterways. And unfortunately, the July 1970 oil spell would just be one amongst a long list of similarly devastating incidents that would occur over the course of the next three decades. In fact, by the end of the 1990s, the total amount of crude oil spilled in Ogoni land would reportedly reach as high as a combined total of 2.5 million barrels. Monitoring the oil spills from his offices in the city of Port Harcourt, was the renowned Ogoni writer and film producer, Ken Sarawiwa. After a short career in government, Sarawiwa had risen to become arguably the most well-known Ogoni in all of Nigeria, thanks to the success of his hit comedy show, Bassi and Company. Centered around the life and trials of a small-time con man and his various get-rich-quick schemes, the popularity of Sarawiwa's comedy show was largely due to his light-hearted critique of the get-rich-quick mindset that had become prevalent at every level of Nigerian society. Alright, let's get to, uh... Uh, at this particular point in time, Abacha was the president of Nigeria, and he was deadly. And they wanted to kill. They wanted to kill him because they had these contracts with these European and American gas companies, and they were making billions of dollars per day. And this guy, he was a military dictator, and he hated anybody. He killed anybody that that, that criticized his government. And. Uh, Ken Sarah Weaver made himself a target, and he was famous, so everybody loved him, the people loved him. Biggest internal threat to the Nigerian state. He was labeled the biggest internal Moving threat to the Nigerian the state. The military government led by General Ibrahim Babangida hastily announced this infamous Decree Number no. 29, which mandated a death penalty for anyone uttering words, flying a flag, or publishing material that was capable of causing violence or encouraging ethnic nationalism. The Babangida regime also reportedly deployed a special task force into Ogoni land to carry out undercover operations aimed at manufacturing fake tribal wars and using them as an excuse for the summer alongside eight other leading members of his movement. The Ogoni Nine as the... Ah, oh, come on. They were called the Ogoni Nine and to this day everybody remembers them. Anybody who loves freedom. They would forever be known were executed by the Abacha regime on the 10th of November 1995.
After surviving four unsuccessful attempts by the executioner, Sarewa finally succumbed to death by hanging, and his immortal last words were recorded as, Lord, take my soul, but the struggle continues. Mm. Uh, deep. Mm.